back to it's at 961 and if you're watching this video this is the second compilation of all the transfer rumors that i have covered some of these transfers have happened some of them are still rumors okay so hope you all enjoy it and yes if you all have not watched all my youtube shorts which have been quite a lot so yes this is all in one place so you can speed run through everything also thank you for my your support means a lot so do enjoy the full video coach however is officially going to join FC Goa now. He's currently at loan, okay? So he's actually an East Bengal player. He's at loan, but now FC Goa want to make the deal permanent for the upcoming season. Looks like they have him in their plans for future seasons and with Manuel Vasquez if Manuel Vasquez is staying, of course Bocha Herrera would love to join. I think this deal could happen. It would be a great deal if it does happen. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments down below. Delgado of Orisha FC is linked to Kerala Blasters. It seems he is not interested in extending his contract with the Orisha club. Uh, maybe he is not in favor of Sergio Lobeva at the moment and Sergio Lobeva may be interested in getting a different foreign player. Could be some other reason so therefore he wants to leave. Kerala Blasters have got notified about that and have hopped in to get him. Okay, This deal could happen once again his contract is almost ending so it will be a free transfer and will be a good deal for Kerala Blasters. What are your thoughts? Dimitros is linked to Mumbai City as well as uh, FC Goa. Now Kerala Blasters want to retain him and some Kerala Blasters fans are like if they, we don't retain him he'll go back to Greece but ISL clubs like FC Goa and Mumbai City have different ideas. They could and might sign him okay they are ready to offer him a huge contract a multi-year deal a huge salary uh, so that they can get him for their squads. It will be a good deal for both clubs if they get him because he's one of the best attacking players. What are your thoughts? I mean comment. Glenn Martin's horrible time and Mohbagan is almost coming to an end. His contract is running out and Chennai are the first club to give him a con new contract which uh, means he might join Chennai in, maybe. Uh, his contract also ends and Mohbagan has as a set so it will be a free transfer and I really hope he joins Chennai in and gets amazing time because Mohbagan his form has dipped, he wasn't as good as he was at FC Goa. So I hope he uh, comes back to his prime and it will be amazing. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments. Although he has had an amazing season with Mo Bagan Super Giants, Hector Yuste won't be signing a new contract extension. His contract is ending this season with Mo Bagan and with Mo Bagan, the way things go. Even though you may play well, there's a very slim chance you can get a contract extension. Yes, it's happening with him. Mo Bagan are planning to replace him with another player. Could be an AFC quota player, could be a, another player from a different international nationality. So, could be kind of interesting to see. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments down below. Official Aikal Gorachena has left Mumbai City. Well, the reason is kind of simple. Mumbai can have only six foreign players, and with Jakub coming in, Aikal is basically out. Okay, they could have unregistered him and kept him in contract, but it's highly unlikely Mumbai City will stick with him for the upcoming season. Okay, Mumbai City must have given him a payout, and that is why his contract has been terminated. And currently, he's a free agent till he recovers and he may join someone else. These transfers come out of nowhere. Mumbai City have confirmed that they have signed Slovakian attacker Jakub. Okay, he's a striker currently playing for a particular club. We'll go more into details in a future video because this is a shocking. For those asking if we are signing him for this season, no, it's for the next season. Market value 1.2 crores. Uh, attacking is not that impressive goals wise. Uh, otherwise, he was an Inter Milan's uh, academy player. Okay, so. Transfer rumor, Pera Diaz, Mumbai City striker is linked to joining FC Goa. Now this could be a big deal, but there are a lot of other things. If this deal goes to Noam, I think believe will be going to Kerala Blasters and Dimitros will be joining Mumbai City. It's basically the circle of transfers between Indian foreign, I mean foreign players in the Indian ISL. Yeah, so if this deal does happen, Noah to Kerala Blasters will happen, Dimitros to Mumbai City will happen. Just simple as that. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments. Punjab FC's best player Talal is officially going to join East Bengal. Pre-contract already signed, and I say this is one of the best deal East Bengal could get. He's currently the most assist provider in ISL this season, and if they get him, next season's uh, AFC uh, a Champions League 2 uh, will be kind of a very interesting place because have, uh, because East Bengal will be able to you know get a, have a good chance because they have a good S player who can provide assist. So in my opinion, this is a very good deal. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments down. Mohamed Namil of FC Goa is set to extend his contract with the club, okay? He was an amazing player once upon a time. Sadly, injuries have kept him in the sidelines and he has not reached that potential that he was. 
but fc goa have seen something in him so they are ready to give him a contract extension which will see him remain at the club till 2027 now again he's just 22 years of age so a very young player and in my opinion if they do extend it's a great deal for nemil also what are your The Nines Wizard, okay, Rafael Cuello, one of the best attacking minding midfielders, uh, best passing, you know. He's ready to extend his contract with Chennai FC. Now Chennai of course want him for the next season. Next season they want to get some of the amazing players and they want to be a top 6 contender, okay? So they have showed him their new project and Rafael is okay with it. So he is going to extend his contract by one year. It could be a good deal. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments down below. This will be good news for FC Goa fans, sad news for Mumbai City fans. But Rahulim Vajis is officially leaving the club. Okay, Mumbai have no intentions of giving him a contract extension, and FC Goa are all in it. Okay, FC Goa are ready to give him a new contract. With his loan coming to an end, so does his contract with Mumbai City. So he's a free agent. FC Goa have pounced on that. They are ready to offer him about two to three years a contract deal, which will make him and pay him well. So yes, Rahulim Vajis will officially leave Mumbai. I can confirm that it's extremely unlikely that Thai Kroma, Mumbai City Sivian centre back, won't be continuing at Mumbai City for the upcoming season. Well, since joining Mumbai City, he has not regularly got a starting eleven position. Obviously, because TV is there, and he's afraid that he may lose his national team position because of that, because he's getting less game time. So he may return back to Sivia, or might consider another place to join, another club to join in a different country. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments. Vinay Rai is linked to East Bengal, which could be a likely deal, to be honest, because his performance with Mumbai City this season has been bad. He's just in a one-year contract, and his contract is ending this summer. And without Rowling Bodges, even then, he couldn't get enough game time. So it's highly likely that East Bengal, if they're offering him a good salary, a lot of game time, he's likely to leave. I feel this deal is highly possible, and it could be a good deal for East Bengal if they know how to use him. What are your thoughts? Rumors are circulating that Vinith Rai, Mumbai City's defensive midfielder Vinith Rai, may be linked to joining North East United. His contract is coming over with Mumbai City this year, and it looks like he's not going to extend his contract. Hardly got some game time. So East Bengal are one of the other clubs that are interested in him, and now North East United have joined the race. It could be a good deal for North East United if they do get to sign him. It would be a perfect deal, but it is yet to be seen how things go. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments down. So that was all the uh, transfers. Hope you all enjoyed them. If you uh, missed any, do tell me in the comments down below. Uh, I don't think I missed. There are many more which I have to cover, which will come in a part three. And YouTube Shorts will be coming about these transfers almost every day. So hit subscribe, and hopefully you all enjoyed the content. Thank you so much. Do like, share, subscribe.